Hello everyone. Today, I'm going to be talking about C-Sharp Dictionary. Definition. Like a textbook dictionary, the dictionary in C-Sharp is a collection of keys and values, where key is like a word and value is like a definition. Lesson. I will demonstrate how to create a generic dictionary that can store any data type. In other words, the key is a string data type, but the value can be type of integer, double, float, or string. So let's jump into Microsoft Visual Studio and demonstrate what a dictionary can do for you. Okay, so first off, um, to create a dictionary, we need to have system collection generic declare up here with the using statement. Then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a um, dictionary object. So I'm going to declare private static dictionary, okay, string, and then object. I'm going to call this dict. Now in my main, I want to be able to instantiate that. So in my main, I'm going to say dict equal to new dictionary string object okay to instantiate the dictionary um, then what I will need to do is I need to create the uh, function that allows me to add the key and object into the dictionary so we begin with this um, private static void add okay and we're going to pass in the actual key to the dictionary then the object which i call data type okay so when we add data to dictionary we often need to check to see if um, the key already exist or not. So if we say if not dict contain contains key and then the key then we go ahead and uh, do dict at key and then uh, value. In this case it's going to be data type. Okay. Otherwise, we're just going to do an update. So if the key exists in this case, we're going to just go dict dot string key equal to data type. Okay. So this is the method that we need to use to add the key to our dictionary up here. Now, so how do we go about um, returning the value for the key uh, that want that we want to pass in. So, so we need to create another method, and I call this private static type t. So t means generic. Get any value type t. Okay, the actual key, uh, key that's being passed, and um, we need to return back the uh, collection. I'm sorry, we need to return back the actual value of type t. So first off, I'm going to create an object called object t return type okay and we need to do dict dot try get value the actual key and out the actual object okay so basically it does a try and and get the value okay. 
in in some cases it might throw the exception so I think the the try get value will allow you to return back uh, the value correctly so um, then I go all right so I need to um, cast the return type okay so return type will be uh, type T of the object that's being returned okay otherwise if there's an error we return the type equal to default okay and below here we just do a return return type okay so this completes the function to return the value uh, for a particular key from that dictionary that we added okay and then let's go back into our main routing since I already added um, or instantiated the dictionary here I'll go ahead and add a few keys and values so the first one I would want to add is for example let's say uh, pi we know pi is what 3.14159 right okay and let's do a council write out okay so do let's do a council write line for pi so pi is equal to um, so we need this method here called get value so get value okay and we expecting that this type is going to be a double so we say double and then the key which is going to be pi okay and then do uh, okay so let's save this and before we save this make sure that we do a council uh, read line okay so this is gonna stop uh, the program from uh, going through and so it's gonna prompt us before uh, to prompt us to press the enter key so let's compile the program hmm we have an error why is that okay I got too many parentheses Okay, let's save that and recompile again. Okay, as you can see here, pi is equal to 3.159. That's the value that we store in the dictionary. Okay. All right, so let's enter something else. Let's say add. Uh, John Wang okay into our dictionary and let's do a um, council write so um, and we say John and get value instead of double uh, we say string right because Wang is a string so let's pass in John as a key let's save it and recompile the code and you can see John equal Wang John Wang okay and let's add another value add um, Let's say I want to add um, add um, a word. What we what we say? Uh, uh, chicken, right? 
and we, we give it a definition let's say chicken is a bird that does not fly okay and then let's see what the uh, outputs is gonna be so we put chicken and get any value string equal chicken here save it and recompile so you can see chicken is a bird doesn't fly okay that's what's returned back to us okay and if we enter let's say an integer value so let's say add i it is equal to some constant value right like let's say 45 what does it return for us for i so we say i equal get any value uh, type will be integer and we return uh, we pass in the key as i let's save it recompile it and i is equal to 45 exactly what we uh, added to the uh, dictionary so um, what happened if the key doesn't exist so let's say that I decided to print a key um, that doesn't exist and I expect that uh, let's say uh, let's say the, the variable j here and j doesn't exist what's gonna happen it's gonna return j equal to zero because there's no value that's uh, associating with J okay so um, this is basically uh, a basic tutorial on uh, in, in terms of using the dictionary in C sharp and um, you know you could create a dictionary that pretty much store anything as long as you know um, how to cast it back from an object type Okay, so this is all the example that I have for today. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.